Following today's announcement that Parliament will not reconvene during the emergency, three UMNO members asked Mohidin Yassin if he was still short of a majority, even with two more MPs pledging support for the ruling coalition. UMNO MP Nazri Aziz told FMT that it was likely that Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin did not have the numbers to call for a parliamentary sitting. He said that there was nothing for Muhyiddin to be overjoyed about after two PKR MPs declared their support for Muhyiddin recently, as PN could still be short of a majority. The Padang Rungas MP said the Prime Minister may have lost majority support in January, the moment he withdrew his support for Muhyiddin, which was also the day when the emergency was announced and added that if the cabinet were to allow for a parliamentary sitting during the emergency, it would prove they made a mistake in calling for an emergency and were likely to lose face. They wouldn't want to admit their mistake, he said. However, he warned that when the emergency was over, they will still have to face us. There is no running away. Pasir Salah MP Tajuddin Abdul Rahman said the cabinet could advise the king, but the king has the right to make the final decision. He said that as far as UMNO was concerned, the king has decided that parliament can sit during the emergency. Former Pulai MP Noor Jazlan Mohammed also took the PN government to task. Everyone knows why the emergency is not being lifted or why parliamentary sittings are not allowed. The former deputy home minister said there was no reason not to allow parliament to sit. The movement control order is being lifted from March 5th. Economic sectors, including beauty parlors and spas, are allowed to open, but not parliament.